at our new Airbnb with a kitchenette. It's something that we haven't had this trip yet. We've got all our pastries from breakfast. Of course, a bottle of wine. Everybody here has little Nespresso machines, which are actually pretty nice. It's the closet with all of our ski here. It's a teeny tiny place, but it utilizes space really well, which is what I like about little tiny houses. I don't know if Owen feels the same way about tiny houses. <laughs> He's too big of a guy for the tiny houses. But this is something I love. Look at this refrigerator. It looks like a cupboard. And same with, surprise, the dishwasher. That is such a great design element. I also like these TVs that are like the frame TVs and you can put artwork on there. I need to put my artwork on there. And did you lock this already? Our little yard. Actually, I'll get it when the mountains are better. They're so massive. Welcome to Chamonix. We made it. Been raining this morning so it's still kind of rainy looking. We had coffee and now we're watching ski films and this is just super surreal. Can't believe they build things just like like they looked at that and they were like let's just build that to the top. It's so incredible downtown and they have this little train you can jump on and the mountains behind me are insane. They're so big. It's so beautiful and it's so nice because this is like a walking pedestrian village. your chill day in Chamonix. It's great. It's great. It is our third day in Chamonix. We have not skied yet because the weather's just not that great. It's it's kind of cloudy and overcast and it's not that fun to ski when it's like a basically what you can see behind me. It's just flat light and um, the vibes just aren't there, you know? So today we are heading over to Italy because there's a tunnel from Chamonix to Italy. It only takes like a half hour, I think. All of a sudden you're just in a whole new culture. So I'm so excited to try this out and see what Italy's all about. I've only been to Italy for like two days prior in my life. So I'm very happy to be going there today. Yesterday we just spent the day kind of browsing town. I went into some shops. Um, we actually have a friend here in town who lives in Jackson and so we had a drink with him. We cooked at home last night and made pasta, so that was fun to have a little kitchen for our place. I think tomorrow we will go skiing, but yeah, today's an off day. I'm getting a little behind on my projects. I have like three projects I'm supposed to be working on right now. It's just so hard when you're on vacation. I always think that I'm going to have more time than I do and I do not. Okay, so that is the update. Next time you see me, we'll either be the tunnel or I'll be in Italy. Tonight. It's $65 round trip or 52. We picked the worst day to come through the tunnel. We have been, I think, waiting to get up here for an hour. And we're not really sure why. This should only take like three minutes, the part that took us an hour. The tunnel is. 19 kilometers? Mm, maybe 12? Maybe 12 kilometers. Yeah, Decent amount under Mont Blanc. And Italy. Oh, it's nice over here. Oh, I thought it was right off the 
welcome to Italy and Cormier. We made it. We made it finally. And it's nice and quiet and feels so sunny and good. I am ready for my espresso and gelato. Garibaldi and a Campari spritz and I didn't know what mine is and it looks like it's this. After exploring Cormier for about two hours, I officially got gelato. An Aperol spritz, well, not really Aperol spritz. A cocktails. Cocktails. <laughs> cocktails in the sun. Super quiet. Apparently the resort already closed a few weeks back. And this is kind of the last day that everything's opened. So it's good we came today. It's super quiet on the streets. Luckily, stuff is still, some of the shops, probably half the stuff is still open. But everything in France and Italy closes between like one and three every day. We keep forgetting. And so it's really quiet, like right when we decide to finally get out. So everything is just opening, but there's not that much else to do. So I just stroll the street. Yeah, so now we're walking until it's dinner time. <laughs> yeah, we've got dessert before dinner. I'm not sure when the appropriate time for gelato is. got pasta in Italy, but we thought we got two pastas and... We translated wrong. <laughs> so now I have a bowl of cheese <laughs> with meat, <laughs> but hopefully it's still delicious. Ooh, mine looks really good. We had a successful time in Italy. I had to show you this car. How hilarious. You can't even tell what the front of the back. That one's over our head. Basically, it was just a food tour, which was just what I wanted to happen here in Italy. And now we're headed back. It should only take 15 minutes to get back because of the tunnel. It's like so amazing. But since it took like an hour and a half to get here because of the traffic and whatever was happening, I don't even know why. It feels like it's gonna take forever to get home, but it's only gonna take 15 minutes. So I'm super happy about that. The sun went down, it is very cold out, and I have a lot of work to do when we get back. I also have to decide where I'm gonna go in three days because I'm going on a solo adventure. It's a whole nother thing to come. We are going up the Guimadi this morning. If you have a mountain collective or icon pass, you cannot do your tickets here. You have to go to the other train station. So we just ran around town doing that. The top is a very cold, even though it's sunny, but the views are crazy. And there's people rappelling from the rock up here to go ski down and a bunch of other people skiing. And today we are just sightseeing, but it's so gorgeous. You can see glaciers and they have like a restaurant, I think up here. But there's two different trams to get up. You take the first one and then you get off and you take the second one. It takes like 10 or 15 minutes. And then this is kind of the whole thing. Cause you 
Okay, we are back in the sun now, and now it's time to get a hot coffee because it was freezing up there, but it actually is really nice down here. But you should definitely do this if you're in Chamonix. It was very cool. And it's kind of pricey, but if you ski the same day, that's the way to do it. Got my coffee, we got our cinnamon roll, and we have these cookies that we've been finding in France. Show the cookie. It's white chocolate, the ones had macadamia and raspberry. It's so crazy. We had one at our hotel for breakfast one morning and we just got them just because they looked good. We ate it later and we were amazed at how good it is. And now every once in a while we'll find them. So if you ever see them, so good. Yes, we need like 10 dozen. <laughs> yeah, there's a tram normally comes up over there. Made it to Grand Montet, and it's the only resort left open. All the other ones are kind of too low and melted out. But there's still some snow up here. Uh, hard to see, but compared to all the other resorts we were at, this one is pretty small looking. It's small, but it's supposed to be the best one here, so. Yeah, it's supposed to have the best free ride terrain and cliffs and stuff, so we'll see what it looks like. But we already went up the Guima D this morning, and so it's one o'clock, so we'll only get a few laps in, but we'll see how it goes. Here. It was a wonderful Chamonix day. Trying to see if we can see this glacier that we saw the tip from far away. All right, so let's see. Found it. That's sick. This glacier is so cool. If you've never seen a glacier in real life, my first time was in Alaska. Alaska last year right after we got married we went to Alaska and they're so cool because you can hear them cracking and they're like this awesome blue color so it's just like kind of surreal to see them in person we're gonna get a photo of Owen skiing this fresh snow with the glacier behind so that'll look pretty cool We have completed our day in Grand Montet, and how would you rate it? It's actually some good steep terrain, good snow left. Uh, it would be fun if it was a sunny day. Uh, it's just a little hard to yeah. see the big bowls because it's all white. But looks like some fun cliffs that could have jumped off. Yes, because everybody's thinking about that. That's the important part. It was fun though, it was very manageable. Um, I feel like we did the whole resort without going out of bounds and stuff. And we found the best opera place with some raclette and spritzes, which are only $7.50 here. We were laughing because they're cheaper on mountain than they are in the town. And it's so funny because we found a couple places on the mountain that are really cheap and also some that are really expensive. So it's very much hit or miss. So if you don't find a good price one place, check another place. They have a line still coming down. There's a helicopter going around here that keeps, looks like it's coming straight at us actually. Honestly, seems kind of unnecessary to pick up a box. <laughs> I think we spent more. 
more in food or Aperol? 